carry on. So today we're going to do something very British. We're going to talk about the weather. Okay, so I have three of you in watching now. I'm glad to see that link is working. Um, hello, Francesca. Hopefully, Alexander, I've got you as well. And now there's four of you in, so do feel free to either write in the Skype room or in the YouTube chat room. Either way, it's fine. I can see all those chat rooms, so I can respond to you straight away there. Okay, so I've sent you the uh, PDF of the passage I want to read today. I'm going to stick my earphone in. Now, I'm going to read it through once. I want you to listen. Um, I want you to listen to it carefully. And then I'm going to call you. There's three of you who said you're cool for a call today. That's Francesca, Tomek, and Alexander. I'm going to give you guys a call. And you guys will speak through the article passage by passage. And then we'll have a quick chat about the weather. Okay, so I'm going to bring up this passage now. Let me make this nice and big on the screen first. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring it up on the screen now. So this is what you should be seeing. So let me go through the first paragraph first of all. Icy conditions cause travels disruption in parts of UK. Icy conditions have caused travel disruption to some parts of the country following snowfall across the UK. The worst affected area was northwest England, where flights and rail services have been hit by delays and cancellations. The Met Office has issued a fresh yellow warning for ice, which will come into force at 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Motorists have been warned to take extra care because of hazardous driving conditions. Forecasters said some parts of the country could expect further wintry showers later in the day. The runway at Liverpool Airport was temporarily closed due to icy conditions, causing some flights to be delayed. Passengers were advised to call their airline before travelling. OK. Fabulous. Let me bring myself back up. Hi. Okay, I'm going to close down my window so I can't hear myself. That's wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to call one of you now. Um, Alexander, you were first to respond on Skype. So let me give you a call now. Da, 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 da. Hi. Call you. Start call. Start video call. You don't have to answer with video, Tomek, if, um, Alexander, if you don't want to. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Alexander, answer the phone. Hello. Hi. I'm good, thank you. I'm just going to unplug my earphone so that everyone else can hear you as well. Um, just speak for me. Say hello again. Hi. Hi. So that's my... That's who, that's who, sorry? Zenia. Eugene. In, in, in English, it's Eugene. Eugene. Hi. What a lovely name. Hello. Thank you for joining. So, um, so Alexander, you're obviously always very um, vocal in terms of your comments in the in the yeah, um, Skype room. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fantastic. You're a wonderful contributor. So thank you. So um, what I'm going to get you to do is to read uh, that first paragraph that I just read out. Um, I'll have a listen to you. And if I hear any pronunciation um, things that need to be addressed, I'll go over those with you. And if you have any questions, it's a relatively easy passage. But if there are any um, words that you're unsure of or phrases, please ask. OK. Uh, can I ask you to call me back because I'm using my phone and it would be more convenient to use... Uh laptop and i don't know the why laptop. but the call reached my phone so i'm going to unplug my phone of course please. of Is course yes i will close um, the call and then how about you call me okay yeah yeah okay sure. fabulous bye in two seconds okay uh let me go yeah okay so i'll just bring my face back up while we wait for Alexander to just switch devices. Um, oh, there we go. That was quick. And hello. Uh, Can you hello. hear me? 
Yeah, yeah, I can see okay. it. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. So when you're ready, Alexander, if you read this passage for me, um, mm. just the first paragraph that I read, that would be wonderful, including the title, please. Okay. So the title, I see condition, conditions cause trail disruption in parts of UK. I see conditions have caused trail dis disruption to some parts of the country following snowfall across the UK. The worst affected area was northwest England, where flights and rail services have been hit by delays and cancellations. The Met Office has issued a fresh yellow warning for ice, which will come into force at 18 GMT on Wednesday. Motorists have been warned to take extra care because of hazardous driving conditions. Forecasters said some parts of the country could expect further wintry showers later in the day. Okay, would you read that? Uh, the runway at uh, Liverpool Airport was temporarily closed uh, due to icy conditions, causing some flights to be delayed. Uh, passengers were advised to call their airline before traveling. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, great. So, uh, these are the words that I've picked up. Um, words that we're going to have a quick look at. So, first of all, the V in travel. Um, these are made with a, um, a strong v, uh, bottom lip on the top teeth. Let me just bring up my video here so everyone can see what I'm saying. Um, so a V, bottom lip, top teeth, v, travel, travel. Say that for me. Travel. Travel. And again, um, so Eugene, again, with a strong V, travel, travel. Travel. That's great. Travel. And now more relaxed. Um, I like to travel. I like to travel. Much better, much better. Oh, Good. It's, it's the same like in the words fast and make, yeah, make fast. So the same, you have to touch your teeth, your upper teeth with a lower lip. In, ma in, in make, where M A M A K E, um, that's lips together. Mm, mm. Make. Yeah. Um, in fast, yes, it's the same position with the F, the bottom lip, top teeth. F it's called a fricative because it vibrates. The difference between F and V is nothing to do with position. The position's the same, but a V has more voice. So you actually use the voice. Can you hear? The first is voiced and the second is unvoiced. So F like, is unvoiced. Yeah. And um, the V is voiced. Yeah. So you actually make sound rather than just air passing. Okay. Um, so the next one is the word disruption. Just say that for me. Disruption. Disruption. Say disruption. disruption. That's disruption. much better. Say for me, there's lots of travel disruption. Uh, there, there's lots of travel disruption. Be careful disruption. with the V. There's lots of travel disruption. There's lots of travel disruption. Much better. And Eugene? Uh, there are... There was a lot of travel disruption. Good. The, the V could be stronger. There's lots. There's. There is contraction. There's lots of travel disruption. There is lots of travel disruption. Good. Good. Okay. The next one, tricky one, is the TH in north. When you said north. northwest. Northwest. You have to get the tongue out between the teeth of the TH. Try that for me. Northwest. 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 Better, Eugene. <laughs> Northwest. Northwest. So what I'm hearing, Eugene, is an S, and this is what a lot of people do. Norse with an S, where the tongue touches the top of the mouth behind the teeth. What we need for th is a tongue to appear between the teeth, like that. It feels weird in the first the first time you do it. So just give it a try. Just do it for me. Yeah, tongue out, that's it. And say for me, north. North. That's lovely. Now say north, west. North, west. Good, good. That TH sound is difficult for natives, not just non natives. So it's one that a lot of people struggle with if they haven't um, grown up making the sound correctly. So don't worry about it, but it does take some time to get used to. So it's one to really work on if you're working on your British accent or even American accent. Um, so the next one is the word ice. I just wanted to hear the placement of this again. So say for me, there's lots of snow and ice. 
There's lots of snow and ice and ice. There's lots of snow and ice. Good. There's lots of snow and ice. Snow Good. And ice. That's snow it. And That's ice. right. You're, I was just about to say that. Because it starts with a vowel, ice, or a diphthong, we would begin with um, that whatever consonant came before it. So if it, it's a D from and, it would carry through and be strong, dice, and dice, to make it okay, flow. Basically, you shouldn't make a pause, right? You shouldn't make a pause. Yeah, snow that's right. Dice. That's no, right. No pause, no blow to stop. That's it, that's it. So it has a nice flow. Snow yeah. and dice, snow and dice. Dice, okay. Snow and dice. Perfect. Yeah. Sound like a native, lovely. Okay, <laughs> um, the next one is extra care. Now, um, Alexandra, you have um, a tendency to, um, like the Americans, really voice a medial R. So when an R appears in the middle, in British English, we tend not to pronounce it. American English they do so if you're going for British English try to pull away from the R sound so what we do is an open long vowel R um, sorry no care is air it's a diphthong air air so extra care mother care yeah mother care yeah mother care is a big a big store in America um no, no, sorry in the UK as a kid and I have a kid so yeah we go there sometimes <laughs> good, good. So say for me, extra care. Extra care. That's better. Extra care. Nice. Extra care. Really nice. I can hear the movement of the diphthong there, uh, Eugene. That's really nice. <laughs> okay. The next one is country, and it's the same issue here. The pronunciation of the R we don't want. So cunt, um, sorry, we do want, but we don't want it too strong. Country. 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 Really nice, both of you. Great. Say for me later, and this ends with a schwa, not later. 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 Eugene, perfect. Alexander, <laughs> let me hear it again. Later. 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 More relaxed at the end, Alexander. Later. Like leave it open. Later. Later. That was beautiful. And again, later. Later. Often when we're saying goodbye to a friend or someone we see regularly, we say, see you later. See you later. Now you went later, later. you see, later. Later. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. It's getting see there, getting there. It's just <laughs> throwing it away as a schwa. It takes a little time to get used to, but often with an ER ending like water, later, um, better, it ends in an open, relaxed schwa sound. And, and what, what about Bennington? Do you pronounce it like Bennington? Bennington or it's unstressed? Bennington. Oh, sorry, you were just breaking up there. Badminton. Badminton. Is that that's how it's pronounced? Badminton. Does that help? Okay, so the schwa, the schwa is there. Yeah, the schwa appear. The, the schwa is the most common sound in the English language, so it appears in many words. Um, the next one is the word temporarily. This is quite a mouthful. I might have actually spelt it wrong there. I'm not sure. Temporarily. Okay. Temporarily. Really nice. Okay, I, I have problems pronouncing our sound. So temporarily. Temporary. temporary. <laughs> Tem say for me temporary. It's temporary. 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 Temporarily. Temporarily. <laughs> this is a temporary solution. This is a temporary solution. So That's we'll nice. Finish. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one before I move on to the next call is delayed. Delayed. Yeah. Delayed. Delayed. And it's just getting that hard D at the end there, Eugene. Delayed. Delayed. Nice. Say for me, my train is delayed. My train is delayed. Excellent. Really nice. Okay. Um. So tell me, where are you at the moment, Alexander? Which which country? Uh, we're in Ukraine in Kiev, and the Kiev right now it is terribly snowbound, snowbound city. I can even show you what what is happening outside. Maybe you can see the cars. Oh. And oh yes. They, yes. They, they, they are covered in snow and it happens all the time in Kiev, too much snow, yeah. horrible weather conditions, it's horrible to commute, oh. so everyone is late for their work, for their jobs. So hang on, so yes, everyone, so what we'd say is everyone's late for work, not for their works, um, we don't need to put an S on, on the end yeah, of it either. Yeah, for their jobs, everyone's everyone's late to work or everyone's late for their jobs, but a native wouldn't really say late to their job. 
Um, you talk about you talk about your job. My job is, or this is my job. But you generally talk about work when you're talking about commuting. I'm going to work when I come home from work. So I'm when talking about commute, work, yeah. huh? I'm working, you are saying I'm getting off work. For example, you finish working eight hours. Yes. And you say, I'm getting off work. That's okay. right. When you finish your job at the end of the working day, you'd say, I'm getting off work at six o'clock. So I'm going to finish at six. I get off work at six o'clock is what you would say. You're correct. Fantastic. Okay. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. It was and lovely to meet you both um, via video call. And Anna, thank you very much for all the things you do. You are really doing a great job. And from time to time, I watch your videos uh, and other videos, advanced channel, just adventure channel. Oh, thank you. you. You are working like a full I don't know. <laughs> Where can you find the time to sleep? Because uh, the video, they are very good. The quality is very good. And oh, thank like you. Quality a lot. And uh, it, it's lovely to watch your videos because they are perfectly done. The sound is good. And you are working so hard that I, I wish you just to keep going like this. And I think it will pay, pay off. Oh, bless you. And I just, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Much. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, goodbye now. Bye. Goodbye. Fantastic. Thank you, boys. Okay, so, um, okay, so Francesca is saying, my internet's not good. I'm not able to be called, but I'm listening to you. Thank you. Okay, no worries, Francesca. Thanks for letting me know. I hope you're finding this helpful, by the way. So probably the next person I'm going to call is Tomek. Um, but let's have a look at the passages I'll get Tomek to read. Um, so let me bring these up on the screen for you. And Jacob is still fast asleep. This is amazing. So the next passage is this one. So passengers using Manchester Airport also face delays because of thick freezing fog and two flights were cancelled. The airport said the number of landings and takeoffs had been reduced, meaning flights were being delayed by 20 minutes on average. Mersey Rail said there was severe disruption to its services caused by ice caused by ice preventing electricity from reaching the trains. Okay, let's, um, let's also read this next passage as well, because that one's quite short. Icy conditions have also caused a number of incidents on motorways in the northwest, with the M61, M53 and M6 all affected. In Wales, police said it had received several reports of crashes due to ice, while North Wales police said snow was causing treacherous conditions. There was a serious crash in Neath Port Talbot and a 10-car crash in Swansea on Wednesday morning. Oh, gosh. Now, I, I put a little um, asterisk here because I wanted just to point out the difference between incident and accident and I've actually written it down here for you um, an incident versus an accident an accident is defined by an unplanned event that results in personal injury or property damage an incident is defined as an unplanned event that does not result in personal injury but may result in property damage or is worthy of recording so I guess um, if Earlier, Jacob and I had an incident. There was an incident. Jacob was on the changing table and he weed <laughs> um, with his nappy off. We were changing him and his nappy was off and he had a little wee and it went all over the floor, all over me. And so it's worth noting because it was unusual. And actually, um, he weed on my clothes. So my you could say my clothes were damaged. Not really, but you could say they were damaged. So it had, an, it had an effect, it had an impact, and it was worthy of noting. So when my partner comes home, I'll say, oh, there was an incident today on the changing table. We had an incident. Um, however, um, if it wasn't an accident because there was no personal injury. So if Jacob had rolled over and fell off the changing table he would have been severely injured and that would have been an accident. We had an accident while Jacob was on the changing table. So I hope that's clear. It's something that I often um, am confused about as well, actually, the difference between accident and incident in terms of the definition. But the definition is accident, personal injury, incident, no personal injury. Okay, hope that helps. 
So, um, Tomek, I'm going to be calling you next. So just get yourself ready. I'll bring those passages back up for myself. And Tomek, let me give you a call here now. Uh, start video call. Remember, you don't have to answer with video call. If you just want to answer on the phone, that's fine. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, let me turn off the YouTube streaming. I'm fine. Good, good. Is okay, it... now, now I, 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 okay, I'm fine. Good. Oh, I can see that you have no snow outside. No, we, so it did snow yesterday, actually, for the first time this year in where I live. We had um, a little bit of snowfall only for about half an hour, an hour, but it's so wet outside that it didn't stick. We talk about snow sticking, you know, when it all kind of um, stays on the floor and builds up. Um, if it doesn't stick, then it will just melt. And yeah, just... well, but it's better than the minus, I don't know, five or three. We've got the snow and minus temperature. So... Oh, wow. So it's really cold. Where are you at I, the moment, Tomek? I, I wish I had the weather like you, but maybe, maybe in February things are, uh, will be better. Yes. Yes. Well, it's, they, they say that um, this time of year, a lot of people get, um, I think it's called like seasonal blues. And, um, and it's because it's dark and it's cold and people feel depressed because of the bad weather. And I definitely suffer with seasonal blues, I have to say. So I definitely look forward to the spring time kicking in. Yeah, hopefully the, the, bad, the bad time with weather will pass. Soon. Yes, yes. Hopefully the bad weather will pass soon. Okay, Tomek, um, so thank you for volunteering to be on this call. Um, are you ready to read the paragraphs for me? Yes, I've got, got this article from you, but these are such a bad news. Why should I <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> read this? Okay, okay, that was a joke. <laughs> so, uh, passengers using Manchester Airport also face delays because, because of the thick, thick freezing fog and two flights were cancelled. The airport said the number of landings and takes, take-offs have been reduced, meaning flights were being delayed by 20 minutes on average. Mersolet said there was se severe disruption to its services caused by ice preventing electricity from reaching the trains. Icy conditions have also caused a number of incidents on motorways in in the northwest with the M61, M53 and M6 all affected. In Wales, in Wales police said it was received se several reports of crashes due to ice, ice while North Wales police said snow was causing treacherous conditions. There was a serious crash in, in Neath Port Tabot, well done, uh, uh, and a ten car in ten car crash in Swansea on Wednesday morning. Well done, thank you so much. Okay, so these are the words we're going to look at. Um, so first of all, we have the word flight. Now your accent generally is very good. Your pronunciation is very good. There's just a few things I'm going to be quite picky with. Um, so flight, we have this I I flight. I. Flies. Fly. 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 So I want you to just generally, generally your accent's quite far back. Oh, it's a little bit swallowed. Okay. Um, and so with British English, always think about, they used to talk about the British um, sounding like they had plums in their mouth or, um, yeah, sound like they have so, marbles in their well, mouth. Should, should I sound rather from the back? No, so it should a lot of a lot of British English is is very forwards. There's only one vowel that sits back, and that's the R vowel. And or actually, or sits quite far back. Or, but generally, everything's quite far forward. You can feel it kind of on the on the lips here. So flight, flight, quite light and forwards. Flights. Flight. That was nice. Say for me, four flights. There are four flights. There are four flights. Flight, no, flights. 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 That's it. No. 
we talk about a flight of stairs. So you got the flight as in um, to go in the sky from one place to another to fly the flight. But we talk about um, how many levels of stairs there are. We talk about flights of stairs. So in my house, it's a two-story house. So we have one flight of stairs. Um, a lot of buildings will have a number of flights of stairs. So you might say, I have to take the lift at work because there's 20 flights of stairs and I would have a heart attack if I took oh, that's, the stairs. That's new, that's new for me. Good, two, good. Two flights. Flight, not flight, but flight. That's better, good. So say for me, at work there are 20 flights of stairs. But don't, don't they in London say like, like more uh, from, from the back? Um, London, uh, yeah, I guess they talk a bit like that. Yeah, yeah, they take a lot of it a bit further back. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not That's a terrible <laughs> London accent, by the way. <laughs> but yes, yes, with regional accents, it's different. There's different placements depending on which region you're talking about. And so I guess you could say, yes, with a, a Cockney kind of London mm -hmm. accent, it is a bit further back in the mm -hmm. throat. So in, in standard British English, I should keep rather uh, at the front of my mouth. Yeah, light and light so generally. Flight, I say flight. Flight, yes, generally further flight. forward. Flight. Mm, flight. Good. Okay, so just practice that sentence for me. Twenty flights of stairs. Twenty flights of stairs. Twenty flights of stairs. Twenty flights of stairs. Good, good. Okay, let's have a look at the next word, and the next word is reduced. 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 Now you're reduced. giving you're giving me too much of an oo sound. Oost. Reduced. Shorter. Yes. Yeah. Reduced. Okay. Reduced. Say for me the this word. Juice. 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 Reduced. Say for me this word. Ju. Ju. So what I need from you, actually you've done it in all of them, is I need more of that W sound. Ju. 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 Now you're doing j, and I want ju with a w. Okay, okay, okay. Ju. Better. Think about the w. Ju. Ju. Better. Good. And it's the same, exactly the same. So correct is the first one, juice, juice, and then juice, 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 juice. That's lovely. See how the lips juice. taper in and then open. Juice. I, I need to slow down to, to learn this. Juice. Beautiful, beautiful. Now say reduce. Reduce. Perfect, perfect, good. Okay, let's move on. Now, there are a couple of words in here that are very, um, very British because they're names of places or, or companies. Yeah, I, I, can't, I, I can't read the, those. It's British fine, it's before. fine. So the reason I brought this one up is because Merseyside is an area. So Merseyside is where you have um, like Liverpool is part of Merseyside. Mm. You've got the River Mersey. And this is the only reason I've in, uh, brought this up. I would leave it otherwise. But Mersey Rail is um, Mersey Rail is the rail um, company based and that covers Mersey. the area of Mersey. So Mersey Rail. Mersey Rail. Good. Then we have motorways. Motorways. And we have a schwa there. Rather motor. Motorways. Uh -huh. Motorway. The motorway. 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 Motorway.
the a, a strong uh, yeah. V fricative I, of. I made a mistake there. Yeah. yeah. No, no. So you say for me a number of crashes. Now it becomes of because it's weak. Mm -hmm. Of a number of crashes. With, and with R pronounced. Yeah, because crashes, the, the, yes. The, okay. The number of crashes. Good. Really nice. A, a number of crashes. A number of crashes. Really nice. Good. Um, now, I wrote down northwest because when I heard the, the article, the second time you said northwest, you stumble on the word north. But I've heard you say it correctly twice already. So I know you can do it. It's probably just because you are reading a whole article. Um, so just say it for me one more time. Northwest. Northwest. Perfect. See, I know you can do it. The next word is a difficult one. It's it means dangerous and it's treacherous. Treacherous. Yeah, that, that's a new word for, word for, uh, for me. Good. So I'm not sure. Treacherous. Treacherous. Perfect. With R inside. With yes. R inside. Yes. Both mm -hmm. the R's are pronounced. Um, you can also say that somebody is treacherous as well. Let me just have a look at this meaning for you, um, because it's a good word to use. Uh, treacherous. Oh, so um, if you're using it for a person, you, it means that they're guilty of um, betrayal. They, they're guilty of something or they betrayed or they're deceitful. So you, she's a treacherous woman. So she's a guilty woman or a deceptive oh, woman. All women are treacherous. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> um, but then it can also mean when you're talking about weather being treacherous, it means that there are unpredictable dangers. So mm -hmm. it's, it's dangerous. It doesn't mean danger, really. So a dangerous person or a dangerous situation, a treacherous situation. But, but it, this is, it sounds a formal way, like a formal uh, word. It's You're welcome. Your time and attention. You're welcome. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. Fabulous. So um, I'm just going to finish up this article now, and I'm a bit concerned that Jacob has been asleep this whole time. It's good, but as a mum, it does make me nervous when he's been quiet for so long. So I do want to go and check on him soon. So I'm going to finish off this article. Um, if you just want to read along with me, that would be great. Let me just quickly bring up the group so I can see what you guys are saying. Great. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to put this on screen and finish this off. So here we go. The Met Office's new weather warning for ice is in place from 6 o'clock GMT on Wednesday until 11 a.m. GMT on Thursday. This, and sorry, and covers large parts of the UK. It has warned of ice on some roads, pavements and cycle paths, as well as an increased risk of Ah, as well as an increased risk of slips and falls on icy surfaces. Forecasters had predicted the coldest night of the winter so far and temperatures dropped to minus 10.2 Celsius in Braemar, Aberdeenshire. BBC weather presenter Carol Kirkwood said South East England had seen more snow on Wednesday morning while Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland could also get further wintry flurries. She said the biggest hazard was ice, which was widespread across the country. And just so you know, the word flurry um, means like um, something, a, a, a swirling mass, something that's swirling and incoming, a flurry. It swirls. So you imagine snow swirling around and coming in, wintry flurries are coming in. Okay, well, I hope you found that helpful, guys. Um, it's been really good to hang out with you. Um, I know I haven't been doing many live lessons this month, and that's because I'm working hard on planning and um, creating this new style of lesson, which is going to be going out 
uh, on the YouTube channel, you would have seen the first one and that's the kind of feeling that we're going for with all the lessons and they're going to be structured like a course. We're going to be doing intermediate first and then I'll be probably working back with beginners, maybe at beginners and advanced at the same time, but the first of all, there'll be an intermediate course that covers everything. I hope, as well as a spoken English series, which covers lots of different scenarios, like the one I put out the other day on supermarket phrases. Um, these videos take a little bit of time to create, as well as the additional supplementary materials, the MP3s and the PDFs, which I want to make every time. Of course, many of you will be um, able to get access to those as well. Um, as patrons and VIPs. So thank you very much for your support. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to go and look at my lovely little baby now and make sure that he's still alive. Because that's what us mothers do when our babies sleep is we just stare at them and make sure they're still breathing because <laughs> we're paranoid. I have him on the monitor here. Uh, if you wonder why I've been looking to the side throughout this. He's fast asleep. But yeah, I'm going to go and check on him. Little angel. Okay, thank you for joining me, guys. Take care, and I will speak to you all very soon um, when my software decides that it's okay. Let me know how you found this lesson, if it was helpful, and I'll speak to you all soon.